Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving, which also means today is Black Friday, and I thought that would be the perfect time to show you guys exactly what we got our kids for Christmas. I know today is when all the sales are going on and there's gonna be a lot of shopping, so I'm gonna quickly show you what and all we got them. If you could afford to get your kids more, then that is great. If you couldn't afford to get your kids quite as much and have a more minimal Christmas, then that is also great. Wherever you are this year, your kids love you. Just do the best that you can. And you know what? Stay out of debt. That's what we did. Don't pay on those toys for the next two years. Just do what you can afford. And like I said, your kids will love you for that. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with my daughter. She is three years old and she is really into Barbies this year. So I got her this little princess Barbie, and of course, if you get her a princess Barbie, she has to have her prince. And he was really hard to find, actually. He was back ordered and out of stock several times, but I finally got him. And then this one I just thought was cute, so I got her as well. And then I got her a little Barbie Jeep. When I say her, of course, I mean my husband and I, a little Barbie Jeep. She has two aunts that have a Jeep, so she is going to love that. She is really into like tea parties and anything princessy and stuff like that. So this will be a really fun joy for her. And everything on this bed I got from Target. I literally love Target so much. Here is a little pajama set. There is two pajamas. Um, and with this, the little I rule bedtime. And then she's going to like this because it's going to remind her of Frozen. So I got her that. And a little Rapunzel dress because she loves Rapunzel and Tangled and all thing princess. And the one thing that she has kept asking for over and over and over is a Barbie dream house. So we got her that. Normally I would try not to spend so much on a gift, but that is the one thing that she has really wanted and I found it on a really good sell from Walmart. So that's what we did for her big gift this year. Moving on to my son's gifts. He is gonna be about a year and a half when Christmas comes. And what we have learned is we don't really buy our kids like the little baby toys because they usually don't play with them and they're a waste and they lean more towards the older toys. So you keep this in mind for your kids. Watch your little boy. If some of this stuff is like for ages three and up or two and up. So just keep that in mind if your kid is prone to putting stuff in their mouth. Um, you might wanna watch that or take out something that you know, would be a choking hazard for your kid, but this is what we felt comfortable with. And like I said, if there's something when Christmas comes around that I feel like is just going to be a hazard for him, then I'll just go ahead and put that up until a little bit later. So I will show you his now. So my daughter has a frozen one of these and they literally fight over it all the time. So I thought that would be great for him to have his own that he can ride on. I got one of these take along. It's like a little train set. And back here, you can't see it, but it's a little um, white like um, table and chairs. And I'm going to put that on top of that. And that's going to be his big gift this year. I got one of these because he loves playing with tools that his dad has. And I figure this will be good for them to do projects together. See, like this says ages three and up, but... I feel pretty comfortable with him having that. I don't see any tiny pieces, and if there is some, I'll just take those out until he's a little older. Of course, every little boy has got to have his Tonka truck, and here is some other little like construction type vehicles for him. His sister has one of these. I know you're probably like, why would you get your kid a thermos? But they literally fight over her thermos all the time, so now he will have his own to drink out of. I got him a couple little outfit pieces and some pajamas as well. So I tried to do things fairly even. Um, I spent about the exact same amount on each kid. And 
I think one kid got like $20 more, but I try to keep it as even as I can and try to have them open the exact same amount of gifts on Christmas morning. I know they're still young, so they probably wouldn't understand, but that's just kind of how I like to do it. I want to keep it really fair for them. And one more thing I don't have to have pictured, but I know is coming is each one of them got a little leapfrog set from my dad. And I think that will be really fun so I can have like structured homeschooling and my son's not really gonna know what to do with it yet. But later on in the year, I think he will. And he just is going to want to know that he has the same thing his sister has. So yeah, that's it. I feel like it's kind of minimal. Some of you might think that's too much but i feel like that's what's going to be perfect for our family this year so if you guys enjoyed then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i pray that god blesses you all and you all have a great rest of your week and i hope you find some great deals today i will see you in my next one bye